It has love, but also hatred, intrigue, revenge, poisoning rivals, and even killing babies. The Chinese drama story of Yangtze Palace is the most Dugo TV show of 2018 globally. Despite Dugo being largely blocked in the country, the search engine's analytics suggested that the top interest in the drama has come from Asian regions like Singapore, Malaysia, Brunei and Hong Kong. But its popularity in mainland China has been overwhelming as well. The series has been streamed more than 15 billion times on Nick ID, China's Netflix-like site, where the show premiered in July, before it reached domestic TV channels and more than 70 markets abroad. It was the most watched online drama in China, at 39 consecutive days over the summer. The 7-0 episode story of Yangtze Palace fictionalized the power struggles among the concubines of Emperor Qianlong Lu in the 1700s. The protagonist, a smart girl with a humble background, manages to rise through the ranks among the harem and wins both love and respect from the emperor. Its theme may be likened to a Cinderella tale, a Netflix The Crown, that chronicles the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. But its own uniqueness has made it the undisputed entertainment sensation of the year. Here's how it took over China and its neighboring regions. The heroine of the show, Wei Ying Ruo, is unlike most traditional Chinese female characters who are taught to be tolerant, submissive and fragile, inspired by the actual real-life consort of Emperor Qianlong. Lord. The story follows Ying Luo as a woman of Chinese Han ethnicity in the Qing Dynasty, the last imperial dynasty in China ruled by the Manchurian ethnicity that suppressed the Han people. But her intelligence, determination and appropriate ferocity meant she was eventually granted her the title of Imperial Noble Consort, the highest possible position for a Han person at that time. Ying Luo's most famous line from the show goes like this, I, Wei Ying Luo, am naturally hot-tempered and not to be pushed around. Whoever keeps talking, nonsense, I have all kinds of methods to go against her. The woman she is based on Zhang Yichen was posthumously given the title of Empress, making her the only hot Empress during the Manchu Rand Dynasty. The show comes as the latest example of how feminist-themed soap operas have captured Chinese audiences. Other shows like The Legend of Zhen Lu are another imperial, rising up the ranks story, not by Netflix, and The Empress of China. That tells the story of the only female emperor in Chinese history have also taken off in China. Before the show aired on TV screens, it was shown online. The co-producer and initial distributor of the series, Ikai, is one of China's most popular online video platforms, helping the show gain large traffic and, more importantly, easy regulatory scrutiny for its debut. In China, the National Radio and Television Administration oversees all content on radio and television. A TV project has to obtain the go-ahead from it even before shooting starts. When video sites emerged a few years ago, they could publish anything as long as they thought it was within the regulator's rules. In 2016, an online series featuring gay love went viral, but was taken off in the middle of the streaming season. A year later, a ban on homosexual work content was issued. Online video platforms cannot broadcast shows at will but the censorship they go through is much lighter than TV channels, which are mostly owned by the government. No actor in the show is very famous, except for one Hong Kong actress, Sha Meng Sha, who was willing to play a supporting role. Dong Yu, founder and CEO of Akai, said the company had deliberately cast lesser known actors rejecting recent trends in the Chinese industry that put too much 
emphasis of the celebrated appeal of actors in their productions. It came at an essential time when Chinese celebrities, high income, and ambiguous tax practices had caught the attention of the authorities. Total spending on the show's cast did not even reach one tenth of the total production cost, according to Chinese magazine Portrait, citing series producer Yu Zhen, who added that the rest of the money was mainly spent on things like costume and makeup, the well-built sets, elaborate costumes, makeup, and attention to detail have won viewers of, for example. Concubines in the show wear three earrings on each side, as was the tradition of match women at that time. So if you have never heard of Yangtze Palace, you could try googling it. You would not be the first. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan Province said it would waive the nine dollars forty sixty five yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world who support Huawei's success and bliss." The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Huawei phone owners are being offered other enticements to. They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. See in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS. T. C. Q. U. X. L. 1. I. Y. P. Q. L. P. I. C. Twitter. Com. S. O. K. R. L. O. F. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpower Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors alleged Ms. Man, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on her own. Between 2000 and May and 2014, they also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying heiress. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used the Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention. Comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against Ms. Man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing, what's good for national security?
I would certainly interview if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice. Foreign Minister Christy of Freeland said, a poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi, repeatedly, after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Uh, must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence, of the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry Jenner to. You the Walt Disney movie Bambi.